Hello everyone. We have a million dollar question for you here today. The question is, is why does my game suck? So before we get into what we're going to talk about, we'd like you in the comment section, let us know why you think your game sucks, uh, what makes it suck, and then give us some feedback. So we'd love to hear from you today before we get into this. So there are some reasons that we see that definitely hurt people, and we'd love to know what you think before we get into it. Having said that, why do people's games suck? Man, man there's so many fun reasons, right? <laughs> oh, man, I want to help people. Yeah, we're gonna start this. So I'm gonna poke fun at my friend Chad. We we play a lot of golf together. So one of the reasons I can tell you why his game sucks sometimes because uh -huh. we stay out too late and hangovers. Man, not good for Chad's game. <laughs> So I know that's not in your success feeling uh, formula, but there's some people can play great hungover. But my man Chad, we got we're gonna have to do some like deep breathing in the morning, lots of water. We'll figure it out, right? <laughs> hangovers, yeah. the hangovers. Not only do the hangovers suck, but it can cause your game to suck. Yeah. So performance <laughs> will drop if your body isn't ready to go. <laughs> hangovers can be one of those things. Are you taking care of your body? Are you drinking water? Are you eating? Are you hungover? It happens from time to time. <laughs> But we know for sure if you're not taking care of your body, that is one major reason why you're not performing up to your potential. True statement. <laughs> it's like not the best answer people want to hear, but it's true. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. it is very true. All right. Second reason why people uh, people's game sucks. Uh, your self-talk sucks. Oof. So bad. So I can't tell you how many players that we meet with and you ask them uh, a very simple question like, what would you like your ball to do? They describe everything that they don't want to have happen. So if I tell you not to think of a pink elephant, the first thing that's going to pop in your mind is a pink elephant. So if you're telling yourself not to hit it out of bounds or don't embarrass yourself, guess what? It's going to come true. So your self-talk sucks. We hear it every day. We hear words like, I can't, don't, I'll try. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They're basically the run-on story or run-on sentence about their swing problems. So if you're thinking about your problems, you are not thinking about your solutions. And that there makes your self-talk suck. That's true. Number three reason. Your equipment sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't tell you how many times somebody, someone will come in here and they're, they're playing equipment from the 1980s. Uh, they're 65 years old. And the equipment from the 1980s has this very heavy steel shaft. They're blades, so there's no forgiveness. They're not designed to get up in the air. That's one of the reasons why you suck, because your equipment sucks. Yeah. So a lot of folks will ask us, does club fitting matter? And it matters a lot. So let's say with it, you're probably watching this on your iPhone right now. If I gave you a flip phone from like 15 years ago, would you be able to do what you're doing right now? The answer is no. So the phone technology comes a long way. So does golf club technology. Get yourself club fit. It will make things a lot easier. Rule of thumb, if it feels like the club you're using, you're not able to perform with it, it's not the right club for you. Okay, number four. Number four, you're thinking too much. Damn. When you're thinking, you're stinking. Let's calm the mind down a little bit. We've talked about this many, many times. You have to make sure that you're internally quiet when you're swinging a golf club. No thinking. You can sense. Remember, thinking equals stinking. Monkey mind. Less thinking, more doing. So you can't think your way into a better golf game. You got to go do it. Yep. Okay. So stop doing that. Fifth reason. Your skills suck. Damn. <laughs> Dude, you're killing me, man. <laughs> this is a tough one, right? You still have to get skilled when it comes to this game. So we, once again, we talked about this in the best damn ball striking series. You have to be able to move the club around with a divot, high, low, forward, back. You have to be able to hit the toe, hit the heel, find the center. You have to be able to manipulate the face. You have to be able to manipulate the path. If you're not the master of variability, you suck. you're probably going to suck. Yeah, so basically skills, for our definition, we're simple folks. Skills yep. equals know-how. Do you know how to move the club around? Do you know how to get the face open, closed, so on and so forth, all the things you just said? So yep. if you don't know how, it is going to struggle. So you mean to tell me if I go play and I'm hungover, <laughs> my self-talk sucks, <laughs> I'm thinking too much, with the wrong equipment, and I have no skills, that's not going to work? Well, I mean, you probably. could probably still play the game, 
Just not to uh, not to the potential that you're capable of. That's all. I'm definitely going to suck. All <laughs> that yes, that is true. Okay, so a lot of the things that we talked about are under your control. You can change your story at any time. I can drink more water, drink less bourbon, whatever. <laughs> Even though it's not as fun. Right. Get more equipment. Start training for skills versus perfect technique. You'll be shocked how far that takes you. So we hope this backdoor way to look at it uh, helps you. Let us Give us some comments and let us know some things that you're currently doing that are under your control to address the things and then compare our list against your list. What did you actually think uh, caused you to suck? So we thank you for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.